Welcome back, this is Dan again, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create both pages and posts. In the last video, I talked a little bit about the difference between the two, so now I'm gonna show you how to actually make them. And they're both kind of similar. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with creating a new page because it's a little less involved than creating a post because in the post, I wanna show you everything that you should be filling out. So on the side here, you'll see pages, and then you can either view all your pages or add new. If we want to add a brand new one, we click this button, obviously, but let's view all of our pages first. With a fresh install of WordPress, it's going to give us the sample page, which we can see right here. I'm going to just jump in there so I can kind of give you a tour of each of the sections of a page. So what I'm going to do is actually let's preview these changes. I'm going to open up this in a new page so we can see what we're doing as we're doing it. So this is the sample page. You can see that in this menu up top, which I'll go over menus in a little bit, but there's a page that says sample page and that brings us to here. You'll notice the content that is on our sample page is the same that's in this little box right here. This is for editing. And this is what's known as WYSIWYG, which stands for what you see is what you get. Because it's an editor where if you go select this text and press bold, it's going to make it bold. If you preview changes, you're going to see that this is bold. So what you see here is what you get here as opposed to the code section of it. And I'm gonna pull that up because if you do know HTML, sometimes this is easier to kind of go in there and fix things, but you can see right here is visual. This is WYSIWYG text. It's gonna be the code. So you can see strong is the HTML code for bolding something. It's no longer B, it's now strong. Um, and you can see that it starts here and it stops here because of this little symbol here. So if you do want to get in there and modify the code, which I do sometimes if you're entering in a video and you need to paste in like the iframe HTML code, or there's a lot of times when it's going to be good to be able to go into the HTML and see what's going on. But for everything else, you can mostly just stay right in here in this WYSIWYG section. So that's going to be the editor for the content of your post. Up here, sample page. This is the title of your page. Whatever shows up here, this is going to be here. So I can say about NNL tutorials. Perfect. So I'm going to change this to about NNL tutorials because I'm not going to save the sample page anyway in my final website. So I can just modify this one for my needs. So let's preview those changes. Super basic. We'll see that it changes there. You'll notice one thing that doesn't change and that is the permalink. Permalink right here is going to be the URL and minus all of this with the question mark, you can see that it says NNL tutorials sample page. And since this is uh, not what we want for NNL tutorials, we're going to edit this. So edit to about NNL tutorials. But because this is an about page and the URL already has NNL tutorials, I'm going to trendicate this and just do slash about. So let's OK. And then since this is the permalink, we're going to need to update this because this is an already published website. If this was not published yet, the status was still a draft, we'd be able to preview changes. We're going to update this, which is going to save the published page to the new one. Then you'll see we can view this page. So let's do that. And bam, it is NNL tutorials slash about. And you're going to want to make sure that these are named pro uh, appropriately. And later on in the tutorial, I'm going to get into naming structure for slugs, these permalinks, what you're going to want to do for each of your pages and posts. If you scroll down a little bit more. The, another thing that you want to be filling out is this, which is the all in one SEO pack. And this is a plugin that you might remember we installed in the second video in this series. It automatically makes things basically SEO friendly and helps you get to the top of the search ranking with doing very little work. So right here, we did about NNL tutorials. And actually we can just change this to about because they know what they're on. If you go down here though, because this is the search engine rankings, you're going to want to use the full title. So I'm going to do about NNL tutorials. So up here, 
on the actual website is going to show about, but in the search engines, if people view that, they're going to see about NNL tutorials, the full title. Then this description, whenever you're searching for a website, whatever shows up below the name of the website is what's going to go here. Maximum of 160 characters. So you might want to make this uh, an explanation full of keywords, kind of make people know what to expect when they're going to your website. All right, so you can see that I just filled this out. It's only 139 characters. I can even make this longer. This was just off the top of my head. You're gonna to wanna to research and decide what to do. For keywords, these are the meta keywords included with the page. They're not really used that much. Generally, what I'll do in terms of posts, and I'll show you in a little bit, there's gonna be a section for tags. I usually make the tags the same as the keywords. Search engines don't really look at this anymore, but just fill it out anyway, it doesn't hurt. And so we're going to do tutorials, um, building websites, code, whatever else you do your research and decide goes there. All right. So we're going to update this page. And this page is done. So creating a post, which is the type of content that constantly changes, is going to be extremely similar. And I'll show you that right now. So we're going to post. Let's go into add new. There is already a post there that says hello world, as we saw. But we're just going to create a new one from scratch here. So this is my first post. This is the content of my new post. And you'll see that this permalink automatically updates to whatever you typed in here. I'm going to tell you a little bit whether you should keep this, whether you should change it, what you should do. But for now, we can just keep it like it is. You'll notice that there is this brand new thing called format. And by default, standard is selected. This is new because of HTML5. And HTML5 lets you basically tell search engines what type of content you're using. So if you're making a post that is strictly audio or you're doing strictly image, and the best way to think about this is like Tumblr. And Tumblr lets you upload uh, an audio file for music or audio. It also lets you just do an image post. That would be either image or audio. And there's all these different types of content. Generally, I'll stick with standard if you're just doing a regular traditional blog. But if you are just posting a single quote or just a single link, using this will definitely help you. And HTML5 is going to be used more and more on the internet moving forward. So if you are able to take advantage of this, I highly, highly suggest that you do it. But for now, we can click this arrow here and just minimize it because we're not going to use it that much. You're going to want to select your categories and tags. And in a different video, I'm going to kind of explain the difference between the two and how to set them up. But uncategorized for now, and tags would be like first post. Perfect. Again, we're going to want to fill this out. This is my first post for. And for the SEO, you're going to want to fill it in more than you're doing for here. So this is my first post. On here, I did this is my first post for NNL tutorials. Or kind of lengthen what you're what you're titling your post, maximum of 60 characters. Then in here, do your description, maximum of 160 characters. Also fill out your keywords. A lot of times these can be the same as your tags. So first post, although that's kind of meaningless. And that's pretty much it. Let's publish this. I'm going to do two things. I'm just going to view this post. So let me open up that in a new tab and I'll close this old one. And I'm going to view our website to see how it was updated. So this is my first post. You can see that uncategorized, the tag is first post. This is me as the author. And this is the content of my new post comments right down here. And if we go to our actual homepage, which is nnltutorials.com, you'll see that the new post is right here followed by the older post that was already in there. And then if we go to the about page, it is the updated about page that we created. And that is how you create and edit pages and posts.